I'm Kaylee, and this is Harper, and we're from Alberta, Canada. This is Scoutadelic. Welcome to Scoutadelic, the YouTube show just for you. I'm Blue. This is our third show. We've got a lot packed in. We've got some of this. We've got some of that. But before we do any of it, anything like that, I need a co-host. Who's that going to be? I think he's sitting in my chair. I'm Baloo from Hull. For a couple of years, St Cuthbert's. And this is my 60 second scouter. I always pack my adventure hat for camp. My, my hero is definitely uh, Rabies. It's my favourite hobby, scouting. Uh, the coolest thing about being a scout is teaching the young people new skills. My favourite meal? It's got to be fajitas. My favourite meal on a campfire has got to be fajitas. The last country I visited was England. Oh, my favourite TV show as a kid was definitely MacGyver. My favourite Disney character would be that little crab thing from uh, uh, the one with the fishes, the mermaid, little mermaid, <laughs> Sebastian. My biggest challenge was the uh, potion that I did. Now with bear grills and a bear, I think I think a bear would have it. I I personally don't have any pets, but I share a house with two dogs, a cat, several fish, a mouse, a gerbil, and a hamster. Welcome to Scoutadelic! I've already done that. Oh, okay then. Well, thank you for coming then. It's okay, it's a pleasure. Good. So I believe you're going to teach me something, a scouting skill. I am. So what scouting skill are you going to teach me and the rest of the world? We are going to do penny can stoves. Penny can stoves. I have a funny feeling, because I know what's about to happen, that there's a danger involved. And again, be safe when you're doing this at home. What do we need? We need some mess. That's the latest bit. Ooh. We need something to light it with. A lighter. We need a penny. A penny. And we need four empty cans. Hmm. Other cans are available. <laughs> <laughs> There's my two cans. So there. we need to empty these two cans and then we will turn these two cans into okay. our penny can stuff. Fantastic. So we finished our cans, so what do we need to do next? Uh, we need to get one of our empty cans. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a lot of burping in this show. It's quite a lot to drink to a cans of fizzy pop like Indeed. that. Indeed. Right, okay. So, so we need to mark a line so we can take the pen. Yep, so are you holding the pen and I'm moving the can, are yep. you? Right, and then okay. just hold the camera thing and right. draw a line all the way around. Okay. One of the dangerous bits, we need to cut the bottom half of the can off. Be safe. If any of you have any accidents, it's <laughs> his fault. <laughs> I find using a Stanley knife okay. and just getting it going right. quite easy. Okay. Then you can go around it with a Stanley knife. Right. Or get a normal pair of scissors. Okay, and then cut the rest. Yeah. So there we are. So that's four done. We're going to make our tops and our bottoms of it. Right. So we'll put our bottoms to one side for now. Right. Turn upside down and then okay. dry a bit. Our tops, we're going to mark out some holes for the burners. Right. So we get our Sharpie marker. Yep. And then we mark a hole there. And then opposite. So you want 16 holes in total. In the middle of it, you mark another hole in the middle. Yep. And then four holes and these are filler holes. Okay, right, so... So now we need to get a little drawing pin or something similar, and a nail or anything. Okay. And we need just to perforate each of them holes. Okay. As we go. Now we have to take the bottom ones. Yep. And the idea is, is that we slide them in together. Okay. Now to do that, obviously they won't fit in together now, so yep. we need to crimp the edges of this bottom can. Right. You can get it with some pliers. Right, okay. And give it a bit of a twist and then go around. Okay, right, yeah. 
They're a bit of a fiddle. Oh, oh! <laughs> and that's our basic burner made. Wow. As simple as that. Fantastic. Okay, so what do we need to do next? So. Be careful with methylated spirits. It's, it's, it's highly foreign. Okay. So we put about a cap full in. Okay. And that will disappear through our filler holes. Right, yeah. Put our penny on, which okay. seals the holes. Right. Okay. And then we'll put another cap full in. Yeah. Get our lighter. Light the top, and that should slowly burn away. Right. And as that burns away, it heats the methylated spirits inside the can, causes it to boil. You should hear soon crackling away. And then as that boils, it vaporises the methylated spirits through the burner holes and turns it into a nice little burner. And ta-da! There we go. So, be safe, but have some fun. So last month, Jags gave us uh, his word of the month, which was? Travelling. And we had quite a big response. You guys have gone all over the world, and we have picked our best five. So we have... Amy Lyon's visit to Atlanta, Georgia in the summer, visiting grandparents, and also because that little fellow in the car. Sian Anakin in Snowdonia um, showed us a picture with the third Sedgley Cubs. How fantastic. Jay Beaton 1993 went to Japan in 2015 and did this. Wow. And Lewis Foster 20 went to Peru in 2014 and found a friend. Broughton Scouts at Gilwell Winter Camp. Also in the picture you can see our glorious leader. So, those guys will be getting a special prize coming their way. But we need this month... Jack is the word of the month. So this month, what is it Jags? Take it away! It's time for Jags's word of the month. Friendship. Jack's word of the month is of course friendship, so if you want to get involved you can take a picture and tweet us or Facebook us yeah. or send it in to the website. All the details are below, you've got a month to do it in and hopefully you'll appear on episode 4. Keeping with Jack's theme of travelling, Scoutadelic has done something exceptional because this month we decided to find someone around the world who could show us a night in the life of and this month it is Troop 206 in California and this is their adventures uh, we're in Troop 206 and we're going to uh, snow camping in uh, Bear Valley if I want to go down a hill if I want to go down a hill then I'll just sit on my bag and sled down the hill <laughs> I've heard it here right now. Westbound now. Okay, I'm not gonna help you again. Move on, trying new things, learning new things. It's a lot more fun because you get to go with a bunch of other people. They go sledding, green sledge. Just new experience.
I know what you're saying. Bye, Joe. So it's the first time that we've ever visited a person that actually has their own hut. Well, it's not mine. Well, of course. But we are going to take you on through the scout hut to find out what their hut actually looks like. So I'm here at St Cuthbert's and let's have a look through the scout hut. <laughs> they have enough canvas in this hut to cover the whole of America and Canada. They have tables. They have more tables. And even more tables. That's a lot of tables. <laughs> They've also got enough rope to shake a stick at. Why have you got a bike? I have no idea. In here, is inflammable stuff. Not outside <laughs> where anyone can reach it. <laughs> they have a billion water carriers. They've also got a rope ladder with a small cub right in the back who lives just there. Hello. Also, St. Cuthbert's have a lot of money. You can tell because look how many carrier bags for 5p they've got. <laughs> Not only do they have their hut, they also have a hall which includes group information of all their adventures this year. A cupboard full of everything that they've done and also a scout board that looks quite impressive. And their toilet is probably one of the biggest I've seen including being twinned with one from another country. And best of all a flushing device. The Woggle Box is a box. A boxy box. <laughs> it's been going around the, work, the UK asking one question, and that question is... My Necker has been. And here are the responses. A minor curse being up about Fuji, and it was great by the time I got back down from all the ash. My neck has been at Ashwood Valley. My neck has been Redwood Wood on camera. My neck has been to Japan. Yeah, same. My neck has been to Dublin. My neck has been to Dublin. To visit my old cub pack and scout pack in Dublin called 16th Dublin. My nephew has been to my to my grandma's, to the scout hut, and to cub camp. My nephew has been to the hut and to the camp. My nephew has been to Japan. Abu Dhabi. To China. My nephew has been to. Uh, Gilwell um, for the winter camp this year um, to meet Alfie Days um, and just for him to give us some tips about vlogging. My neck chief has been to Mersey Moots, which is an event in Merseyside, where we got to run loads of activities with the youth engagement team. And yeah. All our, all our necks have been to Romania. I didn't have my bottom neck. My neck has been to Scotland, Wales, and year on winter camp 7. My neck has been to Yorkshire, Scotland and London and Stockholm. My neck has been around the UK, Swiss and the US. 
Yes, <laughs> This is my current neckerchief that I'm wearing today. And um, it, this neckerchief uh, was given to me when I took a, I went with a group of explorers to Lech in Austria. Since then, it's been back to Austria when I went on staff at Planet 13, which is the Austrian National Jamboree. And uh, it's also uh, been to France when we took a group of explorers to the Pyrenees. My neckerchief has been to Gilwell Park and, this, and it's going to go to Gibraltar. And my neckerchief has been to the Cubs 100 launch day at the Black Country Living Museum. And my scout necker has been to Shell Island in Wales. My cub neckerchief has been abseiling down Dudley Castle and has been to muck out the rhinos at the safari park. However, my guide neckerchief went to Mexico and Candlestick. And our neckerchief has been underground in Wales. This fella has been visiting scout people and taking selfies. And here are just a few. But the question remains is, did you find Oggy in our episode today? If you did, send us a message and you may actually receive a really cool prize. It's time of the show where we are challenged. However, last month we had the opportunity to do the digestive challenge done by Mark. So thank you very much, Mark. And we have the ultimate winner, which is... Uh, tell me I'm going to try the digestive challenge. Is that enough? That is enough. Well done, well done. Wow. So that means that this month we have a new challenge. So here is what we've got to do. Hi guys, Bob the Beaver here. And I've got a challenge for you. First, get some standard newspaper. Second, get a bucket or a bin, but nothing too wide. Put your bins or buckets two metres far from the room. Get a sheet from your... Screw, screw it into a ball. Make sure you're still two metres miles away from the room and throw in. And whoever has the most in wins. And since it's a challenge, you've got 30 seconds. Bye guys! Thanks Bob for your challenge this month. We have two buckets down there. We have a tape measure measuring entirely two meters. So, who's gonna win? 30 seconds start now. That is your 30 seconds. Let's count and see how many we have in this bucket over here. Wow, not bad. We have one, two. Where's my two meters? Oh, there. Yeah, okay. Already. No, I'm allowed. I'm allowed to cheat. My show. <laughs> right, so count me in. And then more than got my hands. Ready? Yep. Steady? Yep. Go! my buckets. So we have one, two, three, four. <laughs>
Finally! Yes! I knew it! I knew it! From now on, I'm only having male co-hosts. <laughs> I've won! If you think you can beat his, because you're never going to beat me, then please submit the videos either via Twitter, Facebook, or on our website, and try your best, because I'm not going down. So, that's the end of our show. Don't forget to hit subscribe, that's in that corner up there. And give this video a big thumbs up and be creative. Be part of our next show. You could even be sitting in this chair if you want to. Then go on the website for more details. Indeed, and you can even get an exclusive Scoutadelic badge. But above all, be more Scoutadelic. Did I say that one? Bye. It's my life. <laughs> <laughs>